Now to, uh, to Karnataka and the weight on the shoulders of school children in the state. Uh, the school bag is often way heavier than it should be and that has serious consequences for children. In an effort to cut that burden, the Karnataka government wants to split textbooks and replace notebooks with papers. But will it work? That's what Pratibha Raman tries to find out. As the school bell rings, the weight on their backs is way too much. Guidelines are that a school bag should not be more than 15% of a child's body weight. But that's just a guideline on paper. It's to lower this load that the Karnataka government has now decided to cut textbook size by 50% for classes 1 to 10 in government schools. It's a good decision because if we carry more than two uh, the whole syllabus in a single book, it would be heavy for us. But if they make uh, two partitions, then we can carry each book for each semester and it would reduce the bag weight. If the state's new measures are followed strictly from the next academic year, then the weight of the bags of children of class 1 and 2 will be between 1.5 kg to 2 kg. 2 to 3 kg for classes 3 to 5. 3 to 4 kg for class 6 to 8 and 4 to 5 kg for classes 9 and 10. It is not about cost, it is about safety. Somewhere we have to, you know, sometimes it does cost, I won't say no. But end of the day, safety and uh, the issue, uh, that's very important. The government is also looking to replace notebooks with paper sheets. But not everyone agrees that textbooks and notebooks are the problem. Within 15% of the body weight, it is already there. We are not finding any much uh, uh, importance of it. But we have a demand that from 1 to 4th, you have to revise par with the NCF and NCRT curriculum framework. Heavy bags oh, are a heavy burden. This welcome move of the Karnataka Education Department may be embraced by the government schools. But will private schools that prescribe to state syllabus follow suit? With camera person Kumar Prati Baraman in Bengaluru for NDTV. Remember, it's not the first time that we're talking about school bags and the weight that children carry. There's been several studies to reflect on how harmful it can be. And joining me now is Tanu Kulkarni of the Quest Alliance, a non-profit that works extensively in the area of education and skilling. Thanks uh, for joining us, Tanu Kulkarni. Uh, you know, as I mentioned, school bags has been an issue that we've discussed several times. Why is it still an issue on the ground A and B, do you believe that these recommendations or proposals by the Karnataka government will actually reduce the burden on school children's backs? Yeah, I think that's an interesting question, Deera, because, you know, for years now, various doctors have prescribed and said that, you know, school bags should be 10% of the child's body weight. And the Karnataka government, various government orders have, in fact, said that. But what is difficult is this is not translated on the ground. Mainly because of a few reasons, which is schools don't really plan their timetable according, you know, to what, what books should be brought by the children. And in addition to that, I think whether it's private schools or government schools, most of them don't really have the infrastructure, you know, like say locker facility or something as simple as a desk where students can leave their books behind. Like, you know, now there's classwork, there's, you know, homework books. So there are multiple books. I think all these needs to be changed and a lot of schools in fact don't have something as basic as you know good drinking water facility which is almost two liters that the child carries and once all this is done and once mm -hmm. there are better implementation I mean we've all heard of children getting penalized for not bringing books but how many schools do actually penalize students who bring extra books once all this happens I think things will change uh, Tanu, you work with a lot of schools, you are in touch with several schools. Are they aware? Is there a conscious effort or is it just lip service in terms of reducing the burden as far as school bags are concerned? Yeah, so a lot of the talk is very superficial where you say, you know, something like what the Karnataka government has done where you say split the book into half. So midterm there will be one textbook and later, you know, the second term there will be another textbook. But what really needs to change is not just these superficial changes, but the entire teaching learning method needs to be changed. And that's when I think that the weight on the child's burden will reduce where teaching and learning is not just focused on textbooks and notebooks, but is more experimental.
Hmm. There have also been multiple viewpoints on just reducing textbooks and uh, notebooks, right? Uh, uh, that this may not necessarily be the solution or the only solution. Right, absolutely. So, which is why I'm saying that a lot of learning needs to move away from rote learning. It needs to be more experimental. But you know, students and children can actually experiment and do things in classrooms rather than it just being a method of instruction. Right. Interesting points that you make there, Tanu Kulkarni. Remember, this is uh, what you're saying is pretty much that the school bag is more a symptom. Or, or, or an example of the, the faults in the learning system per se and not just the bag. While we try to reduce the bag, the burden of the bag, the way you do it is by addressing the deeper issues of how we approach learning itself. Thanks so much there, Tanu Kulkarni, uh, joining us there from Bangalore. That's all we have time for on the Southern View here this uh, evening. But the news continues and the focus on the flood situation in Tutukudi as well continues right here on NDTV.